Science. The Cori Carlis Glacier snakes out of the Peruvian Andes. It's one of the few tropical glaciers left in the world and one of the most studied. According to the National Snow and Ice Data Center in the US, the ice has retreated by almost 50% since 1963 when measurements began, making it a symbol of global warming. A team of researchers from Ohio State University has returned to study it. We found this in 2002. And it even had some color in it in 2002, but it's weathered out because there's nobody tissue to it. So it, it will eventually be gone. Oh, it's here, right here. Right here, this, this thing right here. Oh. This, this mound here is, uh, it's an uh, alpaca moss. The retreating ice has revealed fossilized plants dating back 6,300 years. According to Thompson, this means the ice cap has not been smaller in over 63 centuries. The team collected 17 fossilized plant specimens on their latest outing and took them back to their lab in Ohio for identification and carbon dating. Don Kenny is a senior researcher on the team. Each plant it was taken at a different location, uh, getting successively closer to the glacier. So hopefully what it will tell us, or it will tell us the date in which it was captured by the uh, glacier, because at that point it was no longer taking in nutrients, it was no longer taking in uh, CO2 from the atmosphere, and the carbon-14 concentration in there was then locked in, and then we can uh, see what that concentration is via the analysis. The results are disturbing for global warming. They prove that it took the glacier 1,600 years to advance just 300 meters, but only 25 for the ice to retreat the same distance.